हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट्स माय सेल्फ सी एम ए पद्मजा बुजुर्ग आई विल डिस्कस लॉस्ट ऑफ स्टॉक पॉलिसी गो टू स्टडी नोट नंबर टू इंश्योरेंस क्लेम्स आई विल बी डिस्कसिंग लॉस ऑफ स्टॉक स्टॉक इज नथिंग बट स्टॉक ऑफ रॉ मटेरियल वर्क इन प्रोग्रेस फिनिश्ड गुड्स कंज्यूमेबल स्टोर्स लूज टूल्स एट्सेट्रा एट्सेट्रा विच इज अवेलेबल इन द बिजनेस This stock constitutes a considerable portion of working capital of any business and specially for trading concern any loss of stock directly affects the solvency of the business in a business an abnormal or accidental loss may occur in the form of fire theft natural calamity strike etc as a result the assets of the business and mainly stock of goods are destroyed partially or wholly to replenish the mutilated asset the business immediately needs some money in a business if suddenly any loss occurs because of any reason fire theft natural calamity etc the businessman will sustain huge loss and he needs immediate money to replenish this and for that businessman usually covers these risk by taking insurance policy with insurance companies so to cover the risk of various losses business takes a policy with the insurance companies so as to recover part or whole of the loss the business pays insurance premium as per agreement if any accidental loss occurs the business has to compute the amount of loss and file a claim for compensation to the insurance company the insurance company appoints loss assessors to investigate the reasons and the extent of the loss as per report of loss assessor insurance claims are met when the loss suddenly occurs up to date value of stock does not become available if stock records and stock are destroyed it becomes difficult to ascertain the amount of stock lost if exact value of stock is not available a memorandum or estimated trading account has to be prepared starting from the very next day of the last accounting period and ending on the date of fire so in short if suddenly loss occurs it is difficult to find out the amount of stock lost in order to find that a memorandum or estimated trading account is prepared we'll see now how it is to be prepared memorandum trading account this is just like your normal trading account and it starts from the first day of current accounting year to the date of fire to opening stock this is nothing but last year's closing stock to purchase less returns this information you can get from purchase book purchase account purchase records etc to any other expenses like wages etc chargeable to trading account any other expenses which are debited to trading account which information you can get from the records like wage sheet journal proper etc to gross profit this gross profit you have to work out first find out sales and sales multiplied by gross profit ratio you will get gross profit and this gross profit ratio is nothing but last year's gross profit ratio calculated as usual rate on sales on the credit side you have to record sales by sales less returns this sales information sales amount you can get from sales book sales account sales records etc by stock on sale or return sometimes goods are sent to customers on sale or return basis if he approves it is to be considered as sale otherwise it is to be taken as stock it is to be valued at cost and that is to be credited to memorandum trading account goods sent to customer on approval basis 
for which approval has not received from the customer by stock on consignment lying with consignee at cost goods sent to consignee if it is not sold cost price of those goods are to be credited to memorandum trading account and then by closing stock this is the balancing figure which is nothing but stock as on the date of fire so you need to prepare memorandum trading account take the total of debit minus all credit balancing figure will be stock as on the date of fire sometimes gross profit rate is not given and for that you have to work out gross profit rate and for this you need to prepare trading account for the last year and find out gross profit rate this is nothing but gross profit divided by sales multiplied by 100 usual rate of gross profit may not be given it should be found out from given information if required a trading account for the preceding accounting period or periods may have to be prepared to find out the rate of gross profit adjustments may be necessary while preparing trading account of the current period and preceding accounting years for slow moving items abnormal or defective items not fetching same rate of gross profit goods distributed as samples goods taken away by proprietor over or under valuation of stock omission of recording stock etc so you have to be very very care careful while preparing trading account as well as memorandum trading account some adjustments you have to make while preparing this for abnormal defective items slow moving items if opening and closing stock of the last year is overvalued or undervalued you have to do adjustments and then only find out normal rate of gross profit then work out amount of claim take the book value of stock on the date of fire which you will get as balancing figure by preparing memorandum trading account from that deduct value of any stock saved or salvaged because of this calamity if any of the stock is saved which is sold as scrap is known as salvaged stock which is to be deducted and you will get the amount of loss actual loss which is to be claimed with insurance companies average clause is important clause which is included in the insurance policy this clause is included to encourage proper insurance and discourage under insurance sometimes the businessman take policy for lesser amount just as to avoid paying more premium premium depends on policy amount now if the policy is for lesser value premium amount is less to discourage this average clause is employed for example supposing if policy amount is for rupees 1 lakh policy is taken insurance policy is taken for 1 lakh and if actual stock as on the date of fire is 1 lakh 50000 that means this is the case of under insurance so if average clause is employed in the agreement then in that case the businessman won't get 1 lakh he cannot lodge claim for 1 lakh if average clause is employed he will get proportionate amount now we'll see how it is to be calculated first we'll see average clause it is a clause contained in fire insurance policy it encourages full insurance and discourages under insurance the insured person also has to bear a portion of loss himself in case value of stock lost is more than value of the policy if average clause is employed then in that case claim is actual loss of stock multiplied by policy value 
divided by value of stock on the date of fire. Some important points, if there is any salvaged stock, that is stock saved from calamity which can be sold as scrap, that is deducted from the value of stock on the date of fire. If there is no salvage stock, it is a case of total loss. The net claim should be limited to the policy value. Average clause cannot be applied in case the policy value is equal or more than actual stock lost. That is, there is equal or over insurance. Now, if the policy amount is more than or equal to the stock as on the date of fire, then average clause is not applicable. Average clause is applicable only in case of under insurance. Some more important points. Even if the insured value of goods is higher, the claim should be limited to the amount of actual loss. So that means if insurance is taken for 150,000 actual losses of 1 lakh, then claim should be limited to actual loss which is 1 lakh. If the actual loss exceeds the amount of insured value, that is loss is more, policy is less, the claim is to be limited usually by applying average clause. This we have already discussed. Elimination of abnormal or defective items. Goods which cannot fetch usual rate of gross profit are considered as usual or abnormal items. Sometimes some of the goods do not fetch normal rate of gross profit. They are known as abnormal items. These abnormal items are to be deducted from opening stock, closing stock, purchases, sales, from trading account as well as memo random trading account. We will see this. For preparing memorandum trading account, the portion of value of such goods which has not yet been written off should be deducted from opening stock. If any such goods have been purchased in the current period, the cost price of such goods should be deducted from purchases. So, while preparing memorandum trading account, if opening stock consists of sub abnormal item, it is to be deducted from opening stock. If these goods are purchased in the current year, cost price of such goods are deducted from purchases. If any portion of such goods have been sold in the current period, selling price should be deducted from current sales. Of course, from sales figure of memorandum trading account. If any portion of goods remain unsold on the date of fire, the agreed value of such portion should be added with the estimated value of normal stock to arrive at the estimated value of stock on the date. So in order to find out value of stock as on the date of fire, if you deduct abnormal stock and if from memorandum trading account and if some of the goods are still in the stock then from memorandum trading account you will get balancing figure as stock as on the date of fire which is normal stock and in that you have to add cost of the abnormal stock also in order to get the total stock as on the date of fire. Similar adjustments may be required while preparing trading account of the last financial year if abnormal item existed then. So, in order to find out gross profit and gross profit ratio, you need to prepare trading account of last financial year and if abnormal item exists in the last year also, you have to make adjustment while preparing trading account of the last year. In this video we have seen loss of stock, loss of stock policy, 
computation of claim under loss of stock policy, memorandum trading account, average clause and salvaged stock. Thank you.